Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to route your Galaxy Note 4 or Galaxy Note Edge on the latest Android 5.1.1 uh, since many of you requested it. Let's go do this baby. Alright, first thing you want to do is check the model number of your Galaxy Note 4 or Note Edge. All right. Go to about device, um, I've got here SMN910P. This is actually a Sprint model and also check your Android version. You should have Android 5.1.1. All right, um, go to the build number, hit it a bunch of times until it says developer mode has turned on. Hit the back button, go to developer options. Uh, if you see anything about OEM unlock, some of the phones have it, this one doesn't. Most of them shouldn't have it. Uh, if it says uh, OEM unlock uh, to to turn it on, turn it on. If you have the option, turn it on. But mine doesn't, so I'm good to go, so you don't have to worry about anything. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and simply connect it to our computer via micro USB cable. And let's go to our computer. All right, you'll need to download a bunch of files. Um, so for Galaxy Note 4, go to my site, galaxynote4root.com and go to 5.1.1 kernels page. Also, same thing with Node Edge. Go to my nodeedgeroot.com. Go to 5.1.1 kernels. Here you'll find the kernel you need. Now, AT&T and Verizon is not supported because with Android 5.1.1, you have to install a custom kernel uh, to bypass the uh, root restriction. So you can't root your AT&T and Verizon. But everybody else, you should be able to, as of this video, custom kernels are available for the T-Mobile Sprint and the SMN910F Note 4. And also for Note Edge, it is available for T-Mobile Sprint uh, N915F or N915G. Now, if it's not listed, uh, I'll try to update it as it becomes available. So by the time you see this, it may be available. Just check my uh, website here. All right, go ahead and download for Sprint if you have Sprint like myself. Um, to download, uh, you may have to go through these menus here. So I've got a Note 4, uh, Android 5.1.1. This is Emotion kernel, by the way, but you can use any compatible 5.1.1 TouchWiz kernel. All right, but this is the only one available as of right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the latest uh, kernel for the N910P. All right, go, also go ahead and download SuperSU. Also go ahead and download Odin and also download uh, the Windows drivers. Also go ahead and download Twerp for your model of your Note 4 if you don't have it installed already. All right, I'm assuming you just got your phone and you're starting from all from scratch. All right, next you should have downloaded all the files you need. Um, the first one is the kernel, all right? Second one is the Odin program. And also the third one is the Twerp uh, recovery for your model. And make sure the file ends in .tar. If you do downloaded the .img, it's the wrong file, you gotta download the .tar. Also Samsung USB drivers, also download uh, SuperSU here, all right, SuperSU zip file. All right, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do a copy, copy both of these, all right, do a right click, copy. I'm gonna copy both of these files, and I'm gonna go to my Note 4, and I'm gonna install it. You can put it on the phone or the card, all right? I'm just gonna put it in this root directory here, all right, so you've got the kernel and SuperSU copied over. All right, go back to the download folder and go ahead and unzip the Odin files. Go ahead and double click, extract all, extract. All right, and this will give you the Odin program. Um, go ahead and double click it and this will give you the Odin program. All right, go back to your phone. We're gonna put it back into, we're gonna put it into download mode. All right, go ahead and power off. And what you're gonna do is hold down volume down, center home, and the power button. So volume down, center home, and the power button. All right, until you see the warning sign, let go of all the buttons, hit volume up, and connect it to your computer, again, via micro USB cable. All right, and if you go back to Odin, you should see this blue highlighted sign with a COM number. If you don't see this blue highlighted sign, that means you don't have drivers installed. Go back to the download folder, all right? And go ahead and double click Samsung USB driver and go ahead and install the drivers. 
once it's installed um, you might have to reboot I'm not sure but if you do reboot reboot um, do the same steps again or if still doesn't recognize unplug and plug your USB cable back in try a different USB cable if it doesn't work also try a different USB port if you don't see it but uh, if you do see this blue highlighted com uh, box you're ready to go next I'm gonna go ahead and choose AP and I'm gonna go to my downloads folder and I'm gonna go ahead and choose the open recovery tour blah blah dot tar all right this is your tour recovery all right, before I hit start, um, we're gonna get ready to, we're gonna go ahead and try to boot right into Torp Recovery as soon as it boots. So what we're gonna do, as soon as um, you see the phone reboot, we're gonna hold down volume up, center home, and the power, okay? Volume up, center home, and the power. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit start over here. All right, it's gonna flash, and it'll say pass. And this bar will go, get ready to press volume up, center home, and the power button like that. All right, and it should say recovery booting. If you miss this step, don't worry about it. You can just pull the battery, put it back in, and hold down volume up, center home, and power. The reason why I do it right away is sometimes the system, uh, when it reboots, it will overwrite uh, the stock recovery. So to avoid that, you can just boot straight into it. So now I've got Twerp Recovery installed. I'm gonna go ahead and install the kernel, but before I do that, I'm gonna show you how to back up your stock kernel. So you can always go back, take OTA updates, uh, unroot easily. So go to backup here, and go ahead and uncheck everything but boot. The boot is your stock kernel. So go ahead and rename this, and say stock kernel 5.1.1, okay? So I'm gonna say stock kernel. Um, you know, sometimes things can go wrong, but if you do this, even if you flash the kernel and it soft bricks your phone, um, you can go ahead and restore your phone easily. Swipe to back up. This will back up uh, your stock kernel, all right, before we install the custom kernel. Now, after installing the custom kernel, if you get into a boot loop for some reason, or maybe you install the wrong file, maybe you're uh, watching this when they have Marshmallow and you install it, you know, 5.1.1 kernel on the Marshmallow, you know, this will help you restore it. So go to restore uh, and choose that and go ahead and swipe to restore. And that will restore your stock kernel, all right? Anytime you want to do it. But we're going to now go ahead and install the uh, custom kernel. You don't have to do any wipe. This root method doesn't erase anything on your phone, all right? And go ahead and go down to the kernel that you copied over earlier, which is the motion kernel here. I'm going to do that, confirm flash, and this will install the kernel, all right? Go back home and go to install, and we're gonna go ahead and install the super su zip file. Hit that, confir confirm to flash. All right, that will actually root your phone. The reason why we need a custom kernel, let me go ahead and reboot this, go ahead and reboot, uh, is because with Android 5.1.1, Samsung has added an extra secure code that checks for root, and if you have root on stock kernel, it will basically brick your phone. And a lot of you may have used the old root method and that's what you're running into. So uh, hopefully this solves the issue here. Oh, hold on, my, my, my camera ran out of battery. Oh, it's okay, I have, a, I have a backup camera over there. Oh, I was tripping. I hate it when that happens. All right, so we're on our backup camera and we've rebooted. If you got to this point, you should be fully rooted. Go ahead and run Super SU once. Don't worry about the Nox. All right, and you should be good to go if you don't get any errors. Now, if SU binaries, uh, if it asks you to update SU binaries, say yes, choose normal. If it hangs, reboot, try once. If it hangs again, try another time. It should work after that. All right, to verify you have full root, um, go ahead and download Titanium Backup App. Let's do that real quick. All right, go ahead and install Titanium Backup App, and we should see a uh, super user request window. All right, installed, go ahead and open and boom shakalaka baby got it rooted um so you should be fully rooted you should be all good to go like i said if you ever end up in a boot loop go ahead and power off your phone boot into twerp volume up center home and power uh, go ahead and restore the boot that you saved um that's pretty much it and i'll see you guys soon as always don't forget to hit that like subscribe um stay <laughs>